Hello there, and welcome to the Artificers Guild. I am Divok, and today we're taking a look at even more card leaks from the US copyright site, including confirmation of the first 40 heroes for Artifact. Over the past few months, Valve has slowly been adding more artwork records to the US copyright site in preparation of Artifact's release. You might even start to believe they're preparing for some sort of reveal rather soon. Back in the realm of reality, from these records, we actually now know of over 200 cards that should make their way to Artifact, 216 by my count but there's likely a few I've missed from the list. With an original estimation of around 300 cards to be in the game during launch, we now know, at least the names, of the majority of these cards. While there isn't really any way of us deciphering what all 200 plus cards will do in the game, we do have an advantage when it comes to most of the hero cards. We believe there have now been 39 completely confirmed heroes, with two that are distinct possibilities. I will list the heroes now, and then we'll go over some of what the newly discovered ones might mean for the game. Abaddon, Axe, Beastmaster, Bloodseeker, Bristleback, Centaur Warrunner, Chen, Crystal Maiden, Dartsia, Dry Ranger, Earthshaker, Enchantress, Kana, Legion Commander, Lich, Lion, Luna, Lycan, Magnus, Mazzy, Meepo, Necrophos, Ogre Magi, Omni Knight, Outworld Devourer, Phantom Assassin, Pugna, Rix, Skyrath Mage, Sola Khan, Sven, Tidehunter, Timbersaw, Tinker, Triant Protector, Ursa, Venomancer, Viper, and Zeus make up the 39 confirmed heroes, with Techies and Prelex making the two unconfirmed but very likely heroes. As we break down some of these heroes, I'm going to start with the one that excites me the most as a Dota player. Earthshaker is easily my most played hero in the game, and I absolutely love him. While I'm partial to a good fissure block, I think that what I love most about the hero is what many others find the same, Echo Slam. This game winning and previously TI winning ultimate feels so damn satisfying when you get it right. And along with confirmation of Earthshaker and Artifact, we also get confirmation of a spell called Echo Slam. How this will function is yet to be confirmed, but if it's anything like it functions in Dota 2, you want to pair Earthshaker with a Blink Dagger and some tools to move the enemy units around, as the more enemies you hit, the bigger the bang. We already know the colour of this card too, thanks to some screenshots earlier in the year. We see Earthshaker's icon in the top left of the user interface, where it denotes the units from other lanes. Earthshaker will be blue. And that is perfect, as blue has the most control by far, which will hopefully allow you to set up the perfect Echo Slam. I'm going to talk about the next two heroes in tandem, as they balance each other out in a way that might not be apparent unless you very closely follow the channel. Lich and Omni Knight were also confirmed since the last time we looked at the copyright lists. You might wonder how these two are linked. Well, they aren't. I was wrong about one and right about the other. In a previous discussion on some of the spell cards that we could only see the name of, Many people suggested that Divine Purpose was going to be the premier spell for Omni Knight, and that seeing this green spell was enough to confirm Omni Knight was coming to Artifact. Well, I disagreed at the time, and I will admit defeat now. Congratulations Artifact community, you beat me this time. But to save a little face, I spent at least 60 seconds in the last copyright video telling everyone how Lich was definitely going to be included, and thank the heavens because we now have confirmation of this card. Speaking of premier spells and predicting heroes based on their inclusion, Let's move on to one of our unconfirmed heroes. At the very start of the video, I mentioned that we have 40 heroes confirmed, and that is because I am completely and utterly convinced that seeing the card Remote Detonation Spell in this last release means that we will be getting Techies as our 40th hero. We recently did a custom card competition here on the channel, and we actually had multiple people creating Techies cards, and they all focused around either the Proximity Mine or the Remote Detonation Mines. Well I think our prayers have been answered, and Techies will be a hero available to you on Artifact's release, and I'm glad to see them go down the route of remote destination mines, as this would seem to be less RNG based than their proximity counterpart. With so many heroes now confirmed, I believe we can dive further into the pool of obscenity, and start piecing together the last 8 missing heroes. We already mentioned a card called Prelex, that has been around for quite some time now. I'm still happy to believe that this is a hero, and that brings us to 41. The next most likely hero for me, is the only one we have confirmation of being at Roseleaf, but not yet seen in the lineup. Triant Protector, Bloodseeker, Timbersaw, and Legion Commander have all been to Roseleaf and feature an artifact already. So why not Dark Willow? That makes 42. Speaking of people from otherwise well represented groups, in a war between the Aglodi and the Bronze Legion, why do we only have two of the current four known Aglodi as hero cards? Disruptor and Warlock must be included. Even if they aren't directly involved in the conflict, they still pose an important side of the story. And we now have 44. From here there are two paths we can take for the final four heroes. The first follows a similar vein to the predictions we've already made, with Techies, Tinker and Mazzy confirmed, as well as a number of items named after the Keenfolk, why don't we just include the rest of them? Sniper's icon has already been spied much the same way Earthshakers was, 
and it's only a short jump to then include Clockwork, Gyrocopter and Alchemist as our final four heroes. However, if we wanted to save the latter three Keen Folk for further expansions, then there are hints at other heroes that could take their place. There has always been speculation as to the relationship between Furion, his Treants and the Treant Protectors at Roseleaf, and perhaps the release of Artifact is where we finally discover this. Along with my Lich speculation in our last copyright video, I also speculated about the inclusion of Bane because of the item Niktasha's Guard. If Bane was to join us, that would make 47 heroes. So with one more hero to find, I looked at the iconic pairs of the Dota world, and two in particular come to mind. Crystal Maiden and Lina, as well as Tidehunter and Kunkka. Either Lina or Kunkka would make a great 48th hero for the release of Artifact, and would bring some light-hearted humour with them too. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, at Artificer underscore Guild to get all the latest news and updates around the channel and Artifact itself. Also you can like and subscribe, as it'll really help our channel grow into the community we're looking to build here. I have been Divok of the Artificer Guild, and we will see you next time.